And hello everybody, welcome back once again to Final Fantasy XI on the PC. I'm your host, Nicodemus Kane, and just like last episode, I did not record my audio while I was recording the video, so it's going to be me watching the video after the fact with you, and we're going to be going through it. So of course I was in the Danguff Wadi, Dangruff Wadi, I think it was, and I finally looked it up to figure out where the hell I was supposed to go and what the hell I was supposed to do. And I found out, man, I was in the way wrong place. And so I had to run all the way back through this nonsense. I hate doing it. I, 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 I cannot stand. I know I said in the last episode, I cannot stand uh, the way that I did this. Uh, I said I will never do this again. Uh, anytime I'm going to record, I'm going to make sure that I'm recording my vocals at the same time that I'm playing the game, because I can, I do not let, I do not enjoy this at all. But of course, this is me running back through all of this nonsense. I do not remember anything <laughs> that was happening in this. Um, I took a little bit of time away from editing this, vi these videos, uh, editing this series. Uh, actually. Uh, if you've watched the last episode, between the last episode and this episode, there were there were a good two weeks where you didn't get an episode. <laughs> and that's just because I've had a lot of stuff going on, start a new job, a whole bunch of crazy insanity. But I'm going to try to get back into a schedule again where I'm recording and editing, and I'm going to make sure that uh, we get this right. So what I was looking for was I was looking for... There, those books give you a certain spell that keeps the monsters from attacking you. And where I had to go was way up at the top of the map where there were level... What was it? They said 50, 60 monsters... Hard enough to where I could not, I could not uh, survive them if I tried. So I was looking for something to help. I was looking for something to help uh, keep me from dying constantly. So I tried to come back to the book. Found out there was nothing I could do. So we decided, well, hey, you know, we're going to run back up here, and we're going to uh, get to this place where we need to go. Now this was for the quest. For Sid, there's a little bit of a breakup there. That kind of sucked. There's probably going to be a little bit of breakups in these. Um, only because I recorded them on my laptop that I record on. And I was basically screen capturing. So, if there's a little bit of slowdown, if there's a little bit of graphical glitches, it's because I didn't screw... I, I, I shouldn't have been recording on this. But I found out this geyser right here that we passed before... You can stand on top of it and it shoots you up into this extra area. I didn't even know that. I, I I do remember doing that whenever I was playing it back in, you know, 2004, 2003, whenever it was. But for the life of me, I couldn't remember it this time. But anyways, I digress. We're going to go back. Uh, this was for Sid. He asked us to take this meter, I think it was a blue meter, into the Dengriff Wadi. And you have to go into a specific area. And when you get into this specific area, it's supposed to turn red. I think it's that's what the uh, color was. So this is the area you had to go to, but I never knew this. I, I didn't know this, and all of these monsters in here, like I said, they're like level 40, 50, 60. I don't even remember. All you have to do is just get up here, and it should turn red. And I think I should be stopping here eventually. See, I, I made sure I got all the way into the into the damn area before I even tried to check this. But once you get to the point and you can check it, it should see it's red now. Red acidity tester. So yeah, an acidity tester given you by Sid. Color's now red, and I was like, okay, fuck it, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm done. Now that I'm done, actually, apparently what I did was I'm going to death warp back to uh, Mastock. I, I don't remember what this thing, uh... Yeah, he, he killed uh, Najee in one shot. Killed me in one shot, too. But hey, Death Warp, man. There you go. Or Blood Warp. Some people say Blood Warp. I say Death Warp. I'm actually going to sit back for this. I, uh... 
got myself a new setup. Got myself a new couch. The way that I record now. So it's it's not that noisy ass, squeaky ass chair that I used to have. And it's a lot more comfortable. Although I do need to fix the cushions on this. But I do have a new couch and it allows me to be able to sit back and play games. It's really, really nice. But this is me running back to sit. I need to check to see how much time is on this. Okay. This is kind of a long video. I think I got right into the middle of something during this video. And I also took a lot of time to set up, too. I think there's like five full minutes I had to cut off the front of this video just to be able to... to be able to get this whole thing to run. And the only reason that, it, that I even did it this way was because I was playing Final Fantasy XI. And... I didn't want to set everything up. I, I really couldn't. We had some people over, and I was kind of downstairs, and I was like, well, you know, I'd really like to play some Eleven, but I don't want to record it. But I was like, you know, we're starting to do some quests. I, I explained all this in the last episode. But I said, you know what? I'll record it anyways, and then I'll, I'll you know, record the vocals later. I, it's like I said, I'm regretting that right now. But here, anyways, we're back to sit. So here we go. Ah, you're back! Let's see it! Hmm, red as I thought. And a very strong reaction, too. I don't remember his voice. Then we should be able to use it. But we must make sure to minimize the ecological repercussions of such work. Busy as always, Chief. Oh, it's a Volker. Volker, you old dog. When did you get back? Just recently, sir. I had business in the metalworks today, so I thought I'd drop by. You must have some great stories to tell. Come on, out with them. Chief, were you not speaking to this person before I interrupted? Oh, right. Sorry. It's been a long time since he and I had a chance to talk. Sid's fucking teeth. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. I'm Volker, captain of the Mithril Musketeers. You must be an adventurer, and new to Bastok too, are you not? I hope you do well. Bastok is in need of good people. Yeah, for your second mission, you've done very well. I'll tell the guard at the gatehouse myself. Well, I should be going. I will drop by again later, Chief. That's all he did, just come by and say hi, and then he left. I must go lend an ear to the President's gripes again. Come on, he needs support, especially from you. It might not look like it, but I'm sure he's doing his best. I'm sorry to have kept you here so long. Thanks again, and good work. Oh, and I might need your help again soon, so stay in touch. And there we go. <laughs> that was that was uh, that was a rank mission. That was that my second rank mission. I think it was. Which we also said that was the reason why I wanted to record as well was that I accepted that first. Ah, oh, see this stupid elevator. I accepted that first rank mission, and I did it not even thinking that oh crap, you know I should really probably record me you know doing this mission. So that was another reason why I did this. And like I said, I didn't. I don't like this. I don't like the way this is. I don't, uh... Well, that's nice. That was a camera glitch. That was inside the game. That wasn't even, like, one of my things. But I said I don't like the way that, that I did this. So, like I said, I, we will never do this again. As a matter of fact, the episodes I have recorded after this... They're all normal. They're me talking while I play. So... We have that going on, at least. And of course, it's taking a second to load. Like I said, I, I, I can play this game on this laptop. No problem at all. I tried recording this game through the Elgato, you know, just doing the whole, uh, you know, HDMI loop through the Elgato back into the computer. 
I tried doing that and it just it doesn't work. Uh, the game just chugged along. The the whole thing just it hated it. So you know I was able to screen capture it, but there's still some glitches going on. But this game on this laptop that I'm that I'm using now runs so much better than the other laptop I have. Um, and I was, you know, I was hoping I'd be able to do this. I mean, what's this? Missions currently available are as follows. Fetichism. Uh, the Palboro Mines, once our main source of mithril, have been under beastman control for some time. We want you to hunt these beastmen, the Quadov, and bring back a Quadov fetish head, a fetish torso, a pair of fetish arms, and a pair of fetish legs as proof of your accomplishments. You must present all four items to me or one of the col or, or one of my colleagues in order to complete this mission. Will you accept this mission? Yes, I will. You have accepted the mission. Now, this one I remembered as well, whenever, especially whenever I uh, I went out to do it. Uh, because the mines you have to go through. What am I what am I waiting on here? Just standing here. Oh, I know what I was doing. I was looking at the I was looking at the phone looking up where the hell I had to go. Uh, because I could not remember where the Paul Burr mines were. Because <laughs> I, I know that there's in North Gustaberg there's a mine. And in there's uh, what was it? The Konstadt Highlands. There's a mine as well, but that one's the Volkerm Dunes, I think. Maybe I don't remember exactly what it was, but um, I didn't really know where it was, and it it was I think the one that we're going to is going to be the one in North Gustaberg. But I remember having to go do this quest, and I remember it taking so damn long to do. Because you actually have to kill... Uh, what was I doing here? Oh, I was looking <laughs> I was looking up the items to see if I could actually buy them. Because you can't actually buy a lot of these items. It's just too bad a lot of them are... See, fetish legs, there's none. Zero. How much were the fetish legs? Yeah, 10,000 gil? No, that's ridiculous. I don't even... How much did I have at the time? Of course, I'm not even going to say. But still, 10,000 gil for that is just stupid. But anyways, back whenever I was playing it back in 2003, 2004... Because the experience was so stingy... Because, you know, you had to put in so much time an effort to be able to get levels back in the day. The place where you had to go to get these get these items was way, way beyond. Uh, way beyond, you know, your levels of where you were. Now see that the mines that they were talking about are at the very, very northern tip, northeastern tip. So that's the run that I do remember making. And you had to kill a specific quad off. Now, we didn't exactly know this back then. Because, you know, there wasn't, like, a ton of information at the time. And the internet wasn't, you know, like, oh, you can just pop on your phone, click a couple buttons, and there you go. You got your answer. Uh, back then, it was still kind of hard to get information. Kind of hard to know exactly what you were looking for. So we didn't know that there was only like so many certain quad offs inside of this mine that you had to kill to be able to get these items. Um, I don't remember exactly what the uh, the names of the quad offs are, but there's like several different types. I think there's like five or six different types, and of the five or six different types that are out there, there's maybe. Two? <laughs> two? Maybe three? I think it was only two that actually drop the you know the head, the arms, the legs, whatever. So we didn't know that. And, and we were constantly out there. I remember it was me 
and my ex-girlfriend and this other guy that I cannot remember his name to save my life. I'm sure it's going to pop into my head eventually because it's kind of a familiar name, but then it's kind of not. But he was with it. It's like every time we logged on, he was there. Uh, it got to the point to where I just got tired of his ass because he was just constantly up our ass. But he uh, he was always there with us because he was a tank. And I was a healer. And my ex-girlfriend was a damage dealer. So the three of us together, we made a pretty good team. Sometimes. Uh, it, it worked. Uh, it definitely worked. But we went through these mines so much. And we could, we could never get all the items to drop. Like, we could get one of the items to drop per day if we were lucky. And it was such a pain in the ass to be able to go out and, and go through all these monsters and, you know, try to get this item. We couldn't get it, so we'd have to come all the way back to the, you know... Unfortunately, you had to run all the way out here to get to it. You could death warp all the way back, but we didn't like to death warp because at the levels that we were at... The old Final Fantasy XI, if you got killed, you would lose experience. That means that you always risked losing a level. <laughs> Every time you died, you risked dropping down a level. And those experience points in the game were so, so precious <laughs> that we, we did not want to do that. So it was always running back here, running back there. It would always be something like... Uh, I would either get home from work or I would wake up and if my girlfriend was over at the house at the time, my ex-girlfriend was over at the house at the time, she would have logged me into my PlayStation because we I had two PlayStation 2s and I had two TVs set up in the front room. It sounds ridiculous, but I mean if you've got it, do it. You know, I had to buy I had to buy a couple PlayStation 2s anyways because the play PlayStation 2s were notorious for breaking down on you. So I've I've had, man, I've had like five or six PS2s in my lifetime. I, I still own like three of them now. So you know, there's that. But uh, she would have my PlayStation 2 already warmed up if I was coming home from work, and she would have already dragged my character behind her character out to the to the caves and I would do the same for her whenever you know if she was coming over later you know I would drag her along with me or sometimes I would even play both characters because it's pretty easy to be a healer uh, whenever you have you know only one character that you know you can you can kill things with and there's a way I don't remember how how we used to do it. But there's a way that you can lock on to a person, and you you know you'll just follow them around and you'll run around and you know just do what they did. So it was it was easy sometimes for me just to be able to just take both characters out and just uh, just run through the game. But this run, God, this run is so long. <laughs> this run is so long and so ridiculous. And I remember making this run a lot. Because there's several other things out here, too. There's a couple other things out here that we used to have to come out and farm. And I still don't remember what they were. But I do remember specifically dragging her character out of here and doing stuff. Uh, there were several days that I remember doing this. And it wasn't just for the, the you know... Off stuff. This, uh, there was something else out here that we had to do, but I don't remember what it was. But of course, this is this is the long, the long hard run. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> I thought I I am pretty sure while I was recording this, I kept thinking that I might actually uh, fast forward through all this, just to be able to get to it. But of course I would have forgotten that. So now that I'm sitting here doing this and and just talking, it's like well, well whatever. Uh, it is what it is at this point. 
I'm not really worried about it. I I do have a feeling that this is not going to be my most popular playthrough. Um, I mean, it's Final Fantasy XI. <laughs> it's 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 not the best Final Fantasy. This ranks down there on the bottom of the list of all Final Fantasies. Really, it just having to go through all the bullshit and having to just the way this game was set up I, I the, the biggest problem I have with this game and I still have with this game uh, 15 years later is that the areas were so big they're too big I mean, they set up these areas to accommodate tons of players because they did. I'm sure they didn't know just how many people were going to be playing this game. So every area you go into is massive, and I think they were thinking about the personal space of the characters in the game. And so <laughs> that's that's why there's like you know anywhere you walk, especially whenever the servers are full. It was like anywhere you walked, you had at least 10 feet of space around your character to, to, you know, that was open. So this is Paul Borough Mines. Of course, I don't have a map. I think I have a map now. I spent a lot of money on maps uh, just recently. Uh, that'll be covered in one of the future videos. It, it is weird for me to talk about this video, you know, five or six videos behind where I am right now. Because like I said, I've recorded videos since this. And it's just, it's one of those things, having to come back to this and revisit it. It's like I said, I just don't, I don't like the way I did this. So this is probably me uh, looking up exactly what quad offs I have to kill. And I think it's, it was Amber quad offs, and apparently it was... No, it was Amber Quadovs, and it was um, one of the other bigger Quadovs. I cannot remember what, what it was. So it was a matter of just finding the ones that I needed. And they were kind of deep into this place. Uh, there's, there's actually a, a second level to this. There's like an elevator that goes to a second level. And on the second level the monsters levels goes up, or the mobs levels go up by 10. So here's an amber quad off right there. But once you get up to the second the second floor, the uh, and the, the, the mobs levels go up, uh, it becomes that much harder to be able to kill them. Pardon me while I take a drink. But of course, <clears throat> just like any other, uh, just like any other item that you're trying to get to drop, uh, they were very stingy with it. Uh, not so stingy with it. Uh, if I remember correctly, in the next episode, I, sh I had all four, and I explained how how I was able to get all four of the, uh, the items that I needed. And then see right there, look. Pair of quad off fetish arms. And once I got that, I was like, oh man, this this might actually be pretty easy. Hell man, we'll just be able to run through this shit. Let's see, check my time. And I am right at the end of it too. <laughs> I am right at the end of this episode too. But uh, I was like, you know, that's not I mean that's not bad at all, you know. We we got the first one fairly easily. So I kept thinking, well, you know, maybe we'll uh Maybe we'll get the rest of them pretty easily too, you know. It, it shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be so bad. I do. Uh, I do remember we spent a little bit of time in here, but I, I did eventually get them. <sighs> of 
course, I also think, uh, you know, as I've been talking about the game and how I think the game itself has become fairly easy. And I don't want to say easy like it's cold, but easier than it used to be. Uh, it seems like the drops fall a little bit better than they used to. And the experience definitely comes a lot better than it used to. But I think that they did that again because there's just nobody playing the game. You know, there's there's not very many people online. There's definitely nobody doing it. these lower level quests. You know, there's nobody out here that could even re even even if I tried to find somebody that would help me do this stuff. There's nobody out here helping me do this stuff. There really is. So it's just a matter of it's honestly just a matter of me trying to fumble my way through this game at this point. But I'm still enjoying it. I, I I had to stop playing for a while though, um, because I uh, I lost my job, <laughs> and because I haven't been working, I haven't worked in a long time. I'm, I'm working now though, so it's okay. But I've had to stop my subscription, so I haven't played the game in like a month. It's been a long time. It's been a while. But I do plan on getting back into it. Because now that I got a job, yeah, I can start putting money back into it. But this is the elevator. And I'm pretty sure I, uh... I'm pretty sure I tried to go up the top of this thing. Like an idiot. Of course, I do remember telling myself, well, you ought to be fighting these pit hairs, too. But I guess here's where I'm stopping. So there we go. So, uh, hey guys, thanks very much for coming around and watching this. This has been Final Fantasy XI on PC. I've been Nicodemus Kane. This wasn't exactly the best episode in the world. I don't like doing this. Like I said, I from now on, anytime I record something, either I'm not going to talk on it, or I'm going to I'm going to record it, record vocals every single time I play. So that'll be happening. Anyways, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't, and it doesn't really matter at this point. But hey, thank you guys very much if you do. I appreciate it. I really do. Other than that, until next time, I wish you all well on all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world lasts for you. God bless. Take care. Save often. Actually, you don't have to worry about saving often on this, but I just, I, I'm saying it now, because, yeah, it's Final Fantasy. And, uh, we shall see you next time. You guys take it easy.